Delfina, what are you doing here? You rang? Well, I hung up before it even went to voicemail. How did you know it was me? I know, right? Isn't technology, like, amazing? I have this new thing on my phone, caller ID. So what's up? Ghost of Nash still rattling your windows? No. Actually, I wanted to give you a piece of my mind. How could you do that to me? I beg your pardon? I didn't even want to go see you in the first place. And you made me think that Nash's ghost was with me. And he wasn't. You know who was? A stalker. Some creep that was after my family. Some ex-con named Wayne Landers. You know, I didn't say you were seeing the ghost of Nash. What I said was Nash was trying to get a message to you. And he still is. Well, can I see my husband? No, the suspect is still... Don't call him a suspect. They're releasing me. Yeah, the police finally accepted the truth. Jared has nothing to do with Lander's death. Now we have mind you. Okay, let's get you out of here, because we need some alone time. Honey, wait, there are forms to fill out. Yes, and then we'll be free and clear and be able to put this mess behind us. Well, not exactly, Dad. They're releasing me because they don't have enough evidence to charge me with murder. What? Yeah, I can't leave town. I'm still a suspect. Well, shouldn't they be looking for the murderer? What do they want? You've already told them everything you know. So Nash is still trying to send me a message? What's going on? Uh, hey, Brody, this is Delfina, the psychic. Well, I know who she is. You know, I should take you in for fraud. <laughs> Go ahead. I've solved 247 cases for the Landview PD, and what, may I ask, is your record after... 30 days and one hour on the force. Oh my God, how could she know that? Psychic, it's what I do. So I suggest you two listen up because I'm getting a message, uh-huh. Right now, loud and clear. You just, this is ridiculous. What is she doing here? Stay close to Jessica, use your peripheral vision. Look both ways, especially behind you. What, what does that mean? Oh, what, does that mean that someone's here, someone's following us, or are you talking about the past? Yeah, I really don't deconstruct these messages, just uh, deliver them. Oh, Jessica, don't listen to this crap. You know, you, sir, are not the first person to doubt me, and you won't be the last. But I have been doing this since your sister, Nadine, what, really? <laughs> I've been doing this since your sister Nadine was hiding your baby bottles, so a little respect. Thank you. Uh-huh. Got it. The person who killed Wayne Landers is going to kill again. Sweetheart, listen, I'm gonna stop by the hospital and see if Blair's all right, unless you need me at home. No, okay. I'll uh, catch you later. Yeah. Okay. You go on ahead, okay? I'll, I'll see you at home, you know? I have to say, I, I I feel sorry for Dorian. I mean, I know she must be worried sick about Blair. Yeah, well, it's a good thing she's got her fiancé there with her to hold her hand. I almost forgot. <laughs> Dorian's a lesbian now. Yeah. Well, I sure didn't see that one coming. No, neither did the men in her life, especially David Vickers. Someone's gonna get killed? Who? I don't know. Oh. Well, you can't just say stuff like that. Huh? Oh, I get it. You need your palm grease before the spirit moves you again. You offering? No matter. Money or not. I keep getting messages. What well, are you getting one now? I keep... seeing Nash's death. The vision's very clear. And then... Jared Banks. Oh my God. Do, do you really think that he could have done it? Do you think that he killed Wayne Landers? What's going on here? Well, what are you doing here? Me? Oh, uh, I was just leaving. <laughs> Tell your wife. Uh, Jared, you're free. For now. What, now you're for good? Uh. As soon as the police start looking for the real killer. You don't have any problems with Jared staying here now, right? N no. 
Of course not. No. no. Brody. And no hard feelings? <laughs> yeah, we're cool, man. Police are just doing their job. Yeah. Hey, you must be exhausted, huh? Pretty much. Yeah. Maybe we'll let Natalie take it from here and... Uh, I never stopped believing in you. Not for a minute. <laughs> well, uh, we should go check on Bree. Yeah. yeah. Whew. Glad you're home. <laughs> mm. Me too. Oh. You okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd rather be you know, free and clear, but uh, I'll take it. So, at the police station, you said that you needed to talk to me, that you were lying about something. About what? Yes, you don't seriously believe what that psychic said. Well, you have to admit a lot of what she said was true. Really? Look, stop being worried about me for one second and look at this like a police officer, okay? Do you really think that Jared's capable of killing someone? Uh, give me a minute. The messages are coming. I'll need to look into <laughs> stop another it. dimension. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Just tell me what you really think. All right, look. Part of my getting better dealing with my PTSD, was learning to see what's really there. Nothing more. So? So I don't think you need to worry about what this psychic said. Wait a minute. I do see something. Something in your future. What? This. <laughs> no. I lied to you. And to the police. When I said I didn't know the man who was killed, Wayne Landers, I did know him. I did meet him in prison. And I've been working with him 